people problems <laughs> I just saw a severe crime committed. We were in that last temple and I don't know, I'm not judging, but a lady backed away from the altar with cash in her hand that was once on the altar and then did one of the things with it in her hand. And I was like, maybe she's going to put it on the altar. She didn't. She walked away. You should have said something. I I was terrified to do that, I'll be honest. Hi. Okay, yeah, thank you. Yeah, I'm okay, thank you. Thank you. I'm okay, thank you. No, thank you. That's okay, I don't, I don't have with me. I, I don't have. <laughs> They're not giving up. <laughs> it's okay, thank you though. We gotta get on our bus, sorry. <laughs> We're on a boat. With her. Hey. <laughs> hey. This is our friend Gloria. What's your name? What do you mean? We are from... Got some jams. Oh, I love it. So good. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna take this safety off. I trust her. I trust Gloria. people ask me about what shoes I wear or that we wear and as you can tell when we travel I don't really care about the clothes I wear like I'm not trying to look stylish so usually these clothes, clothes are comfortable in but my shoes those are a big deal so I have these sandals they're called the Luna sandals I'll show you them don't, like, don't judge my toes kind of like chacos so you can kind of adjust them to your feet however you want and they're completely waterproof and I'm not gonna lie I was a little skeptical of them at first because they don't really have like an arch support and I have <laughs> this guy a pretty high arch um, but I've worn them this whole trip and I've had no problems which is crazy no problems no problems but I've also brought my sneakers with a little bit of arch so I've like kind of been switching off but I've also been wearing these and they um, wash off really easy, which is nice. They wash off really easy. <laughs> and I can just wear them anywhere. They're awesome, durable shoes. Anyway, I like them. So if she you're traveling them. and it's hot, or you're going somewhere with water, like we're in right now, check them out. Luna shoes, Luna sandals. They're actually pretty sweet. They are really cool. I like them a lot. Give me, baby, one more time. You hear that song? Yeah, it's a song uh, on the radio. I'm, I'm, I'm boy, I'm gone. Huh? I'm boy, I'm gone. <laughs> <laughs>
trying, trying to get the same songs. Because Britney Spears is Everyone perfect. knows Britney Spears. Rice? Oh, rice fields right here. That I understood. Rice? This is cool. And we're gone. There it is. Wow. So, quick thought, these people live here and every day they're out harvesting, planting, growing rice. Right here, all rice fields. And then there's sweet ladies like Gloria. <laughs> it's our last full day in Vietnam. We're just going down this peaceful river that waters all of the rice here. There's someone over there working in the rice field alone. There's Nels and back to me and Gloria. <laughs> and that's what they do, like all day, they're just working in the rice fields, they're planting, they're harvesting, taking out the grains, and or your Gloria and her friends, they take us on these tourist rides and they make money that way. Every day though, and they're happy. So think for a minute, maybe this last Christmas, did you see that? She was just laughing, she's happy. I love her. During Christmas, you might have been unhappy because you didn't get the gift you wanted. Maybe you're unhappy in life because you don't have things that you believe will bring you happiness. You don't have the new phone. You don't have a camera that you want. You don't have the new shoes that everyone's talking about. Being out here in other cultures, one of the benefits of traveling is you see, why are these people happy? And why are these people on this side of the world happy? There's a common thread through all of that. And I think that's being with people that you care about, that you love. Spend time with them and get to know them and enjoy relationships and take time for yourself. I don't know what else. Oh, they work. They're out physically working. I think that is a common thread that those things help people be happy. Also, I think having a belief in a higher power, but that's a whole other conversation. Traveling really puts things in perspective and I think it mostly helps you become grateful. Nellie's looking at me like she's deep in thought. I would love to work in a rice field. <laughs> I'm not kidding, I would love to come here and just like work with them for a little bit. It would be rad, but would you want to for like 20 years of your life? I don't know, maybe I'll have it. I maybe it's my calling in life. Yeah, there's definitely parts about it that would be peaceful. Like, this is so peaceful. It's it really green is. and I feel like I can breathe in all the air. I'm just so happy. You know what, yeah, I'm not saying it's a bad thing, but I guess it puts things in perspective. Like for example, an hour ago, we were talking about how excited we are to eat certain things back in America when we get back home. But now I'm like, shoot, maybe I don't want to go home. <laughs> so I guess it's all just perspective. Got my bike. It's beauty. We're just biking through the city and it's nice. <laughs> Take a break, hang out with some cows. It's so awesome, they're just so chill. Don't even care you're here. <laughs> so they're giving them some pencils, pencil sharpeners, some pins, and some notepads. <laughs> Chris brought those just to hand out to kids everywhere. And we were gonna go to a school and hand them out. Today's our last full day, so 
We stopped by this little school, started handing out a few. Yeah. 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 Yeah.